on we're going to do the next kind of nuts and bolt thing we have to get out of the way and that is we need to register a tinkercad account or get you on tinkercad and there's a couple of different options for that so let's go here and you're going to open up a web browser first of all listen you don't use okay guys don't use internet explorer for tinkercad sometimes we may have to but uh generally speaking you want to use uh chrome Google Chrome and Firefox if your computer some of the computers in here do have Firefox that would be another option to use but again uh, WebGL is not fully supported by Internet Explorer so we're not going to use that one so what we're going to do is we're going to go to tinker whoops tinkercad.com so it's tinker and then CAD CAD uh, CAD software is the type of software we use uh, for doing our 3d design work Okay, now listen, if you already have an account, you would use sign in. If you're new and you don't have an account already, you're going to go to sign up. Okay, so here we go, and you're going to sign up. Now listen, uh, first of all, you're going to go down, you know, leave that on the United States. Now listen here, Tinkercad has this thing. They figure that little kids can't do 3D design work, right? So they have a deal that if you put in a, a, a birthday that's a young person's birthday, then you're gonna, they're going to think like, oh, little kids can't have an email. And they're going to actually send you a confirmation email. And you won't be able to use your account at all until you click it. The problem is right now with our current system, we don't have any way to click into those emails, do we? So at school, you can't, like, for example, you cannot... Uh, actually click into anything like that at school like you can't get into hotmail or Yahoo mail or Gmail at school so listen you need to put in your email address but I would highly recommend unless you want to go home and wait and borrow an account for mr. Woodchick just put in an old date like hey 1954 you know like a like an old timer right you know so just put in that and again if you do it like this guess what they don't send you a confirmation email and you can start designing right away. If you put in a young person's birth date, they're going to think, oh, little kids don't have emails. We need to email their parents to make sure mommy and daddy says it's okay. Well, I'm your teacher so, and we can do this. So what we're going to do is we're going to click next. And then you're going to do is you're going to put in your email address. So like my mail at fakemail.com. And my password, hey, be careful here. Listen to me. If you put in a password and you don't write it down, trust me, you won't remember it. No one ever remembers anything, right? Especially when I was your age, I'd never remember. I'd say, oh, I'll remember it. And I'll, 10 minutes later, I, I was thinking about something else, right? Well, here we go. So what I'm, you're going to write this down in your agenda. And so let's say, um, okay. And it has to be, now listen. Look what it says. It says it has to be eight characters and at least one number and one letter. So you have to have a number and a letter somewhere in there. So mine wouldn't work. And see where it says create. Oh, by the way, do you want to get emails and spam from them in your mail account? Nope. I would I would unclick that one and then they won't send you advertisements and then press create account. And this part takes a little while. Give it some time. Just sit here, kick back, and it takes a while. Don't, I used to think it was always freezing up, but it, seriously, it takes it a minute to make an account. It's still going and going. And here we go. Hey, listen, when you first get in there, they have you in the lessons. They don't have you in a creative design thing, right? So instead, what you want to do, what I would recommend, hey, if you want to do the lessons, it's no problem. Let's learn to move the shapes. Well, here's a hint. You just grab them and move them. You know what I mean? So, you, just, you know, it's not very hard. Hey, look, I made it. So these are, these are kind of really basic. Hey, good, I made it. I win. I would recommend that you just get out of this right away. Go to Exit Lesson, and then look at this, okay? Check it out. When you go down here, go to All Designs and then create new design. 
and here's how you use this program. I want you guys to spend the remainder of the time today after you register your account, if you have time, let's just play around with this. You know, like a little kid doodling, who cares what you're doing? Um, okay, first of all, geometric. Go to geometric, that's where you should always start. And then you go in any of these shapes that you want, you just click it and drag it out there, right? And then if you wanna make it taller, grab the dot on the top and drag it up, you know? You can move things by just grabbing the red shape. You can make them smaller if you grab these dots and you adjust the dots. You can rotate it. See these little spinners? You could spin things and rotate it. And then let's say that like, you know, for example, we'll make a little quick house just real quick. Uh, okay, a really basic house. Make this long, have that kind of stick out like the garage. Let's put another piece back here. I'm going to admit this is not going to be the world's greatest house. You may be upset if you live in this house one day because it's probably going to have a leaky roof or something. But whatever. We're just playing around with it. So you can you can do this. You see how I raised that, that roof up? See where it says roof? I put it there and I raised it up. Uh-oh, it's floating roof. That's not good. So this arrow here, you can move them up and down. Play around with stuff. You know what's really cool too? You can make groups. So like if you want to put these two together and they move around like a group, you can group them. See now they... Oops, you got to let it save first. See, now they move around together, don't they? Because I grouped them. Hey, look at this. This is really cool. Let's say I want to cut a circular tunnel out of my building. Grab this. I'm going to rotate it. Drag it over here. Now, look at this. This is really fun. You can make holes. So if you want something to, instead of adding to your design, you can cut out stuff with a hole. So click on the shape, click hole, and then group it together and watch what happens. It'll cut a hole out of there after you group those two together. See that? Kind of cool. So play around with that a little bit after you get your account registered today. Let's go ahead and stop my recorder.